Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about Mina Protocol, which is the world's lightest blockchain at the moment. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more crypto content and also leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the video. So let's get straight to the topic of the video. The Mina ecosystem, which operates the lightweight Mina blockchain, has raised $92 million to help attract world-class developers through grants. So their goal is to advance the design and development of this Mina protocol that I'm going to talk about in this video today. So the $92 million financing was led by FTX Venture and Three Arrows Capital with the help of some other guys. And as the Mina Foundation CEO said, their main goal right now is to give their grants to people who are doing effective work for Mina and that will help do that much more effectively. So what is this MENA protocol that I'm talking about and how does it actually work and what are their advantages? So let's go to their website. MENA is the world's lightest blockchain powered by participants. So using zero knowledge technology, MENA is creating the infrastructure for the secure democratic future we all deserve. So MENA is building the privacy and security layer for Web3. On their website down here, you can see kind of a comparison so Mina blockchain has a fixed size of 22 kilobytes and in comparison to other blockchains that do have more than 300 gigabytes and their size is always increasing, this is enabling users to quickly and directly access the current state from their smartphone and other blockchains. So that's at the moment their biggest advantage, the lightweight size of the blockchain. But there are also some other advantages that I want to talk about and um, the major is security. So the first advantage is that you own your data. So users today are compelled to hand over their data to centralized entities in order to participate in the modern world. But Mina ZK apps keeps users in control of their privacy by validating and sharing proofs of their data rather than the data itself, so think about getting a loan by simply sharing a proof of your personal ID and credit score, rather than the data itself, so there is no risk of your personal information being hacked or sold at all, that's what I'm talking about, the security. You are the only one owning your data and it never leaves your device. Also, there are other advantages. So given Mina's lightweight design and the off-chain nature of Mina ZK app smart contract computations, it's easy to use the Mina proof system from other chains. So there is currently work being done to establish a bridge between Mina and Ethereum, and progress made on this can also go towards building trustless bridges between different chains. So this will result in the ability for dApps and other chains to take advantage of the privacy preserving data verification and efficient proofs of large computations and of course secure login features on Mina's ZK apps. You can read more about this Mina Ethereum bridge on their website and all of these are actually very well explained on their website so they are thinking about their community and they want you to know everything there is about this great protocol. So let's get back to other advantages. You know that other blockchain protocols don't interact with the internet, limiting their application scope and utility. But Mina ZK apps can privately interact with any website and access verified real-world data for use on-chain. So developers can leverage data on the internet and easily bring it on-chain without ever compromising the privacy of users. Also, you know that traditional chains are becoming so heavy that users need to rely on intermediaries to run nodes, going against the original decentralization promise of blockchain and leaving the network more susceptible to a 51% attack. But Mina, which is lightweight and as I said, 22 kilobytes in size, this blockchain that means that anyone can easily connect peer-to-peer -peer and validate transactions like a full node ensuring strong censorship resistance and security for the blockchain. So that's again one of the advantages. Also, Mina has a great global community. Other blockchains are run by powerful ecosystems, intermediaries, but Mina is, as I said, powered by participants. 
So their inclusive community unites people around the world with a passion for a decentralized blockchain. So in fact, they have one of the largest and most active communities of any other project that was launched in the last few years. And you can join their community by pressing on this button right here on their website. It's going to lead you to this page where you can see all of their social media. So you can give these guys follow on Twitter, join their Discord, Telegram or whatever you do want. If you want to become part of the community, you should definitely check this out. And at the end, they say that the reason why they did make this like this blockchain is to rebalance the scales and give anyone with a smartphone the power to participate, build, exchange and thrive. And you can see that they are in the news and they are becoming more and more popular over the time. And I want to tell something about their Twitter. I definitely recommend giving these guys a big follow as I did. Because you see, this is quite a community. They have more than 180k followers at the moment. And you can check all the news here on their Twitter about the protocol itself and also about the market. So if you want to stay updated and if you want to become a part of the community, definitely, as I said, give these guys a big, big follow on their Twitter. And at the end, I want to talk about the price section a little bit. So as we can see yesterday, we experienced some big move upwards in price. Uh, so at the moment today, uh, we can see that the price is ranging and recent support is created and you can take a look at all these highs and all these lows and definitely the price is raging. And when it comes to lower time frame in the past few hours, let's see what's going on. So you can see here that we experienced some kind of a I can say head and shoulder pattern. So if we see here that the price breaks through this kind of a resistance point right here, it will definitely go up, but we're not here to predict. We are here to react to the market and you should always stay updated and create some kind of your own strategy so you can make the biggest profits. So that would be it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching and I just want to tell you again to give these guys a big follow and check their website to learn more about this lightweight protocol. And as I said, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and also leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this project. At the end, I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and any investments you make on your own liability. So. Thanks for watching, stay safe and see you guys in the next video.